just being around you for you know two seasons, I know the competitor you are, Dwight. I know you're a competitor too, but how do you balance? I know emotionally you want to be playing the NCAA, but as a competitor, what does it mean to get to play another game in your final season? I mean, I'm just excited to be back in Diddle. You know, I didn't had no clue I'd get to play another game here, and. Um, so, I mean, I'm really excited to, just to be playing more basketball, really. Um, you know, the ultimate goal was to reverse that score by two points and thus win the game by one. But, you know, things happen and wasn't the plan for us. But um, just to be able to play in the NIT, you know, and if you see that NIT field, it's, uh, it's pretty competitive. Um, so even to be get an invite to that, I think, you know, what are there, 100 teams that, you know, between the NIT and the NCAA, tournament um, and there are 360 or 20 I don't know how many teams there in the whole NCAA so it's a it's a pretty big deal um, to still get a play and like I said I'm just excited to play more basketball and um, I, was, I was talking to someone and I sent them a text and they asked me like how you how you feel about it or whatever and I said anytime I put a jersey on and lace my shoes up and playing basketball I'm gonna compete like it's the last one so I mean anytime I put a jersey on and my shoes are on, then I'm ready to go. Are you going to be able to do anything to top your last game with the little arena? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully uh, I can do it on the stat sheet, but I don't know about getting an engaged again. But, uh, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm excited to play again. It's a really good Boston College team coming in here. Um, not many t times do you get to host a ACC team in here in Diddle Arena, so. And the crazy thing is, my final two schools were Western Kentucky and Boston College. So um, it's it, that's kind of cool. Um, but like I said, I'm just excited to play again. Uh, it's it's kind of better. It's kind of better. We're still working on the on the swelling part of it, but it'd be stitches? all right. You got nine of them. You ever had stitches before? Uh, yeah, my wrist, but it wasn't nothing too much. How was the adjustment trying to play with that patch on your eye and swelling? It wasn't. It wasn't a big adjustment. Just wearing a bus. If someone hit hit me in it, and they did, but it started to bleed. But we got it changed out. It was good though. What's a you guys pretty loose? I guess going to this thing. Just I mean, um, just kind of a loose kind of fun feel about going to this tournament. Yeah, you know, you always want to want to go to the go to the tournament and all that. But since we got a chance to play in NIT and and, and be back in Dilla, I think it's a great opportunity for us to. To really prove ourselves and try to make it to Mount Madison Square Garden. Yeah, Justin, the fact that if you win some games, you can go play at Madison Square Garden. How much of that is kind of a, a reward waiting at the end of the tunnel for you all? I mean, I've, you know, um, I, I've been fortunate enough to play there before. You know, my freshman year, we played there um, in a tournament over Thanksgiving. So, but the, you know, that's, people call it the mecca of basketball, and uh, it really is. I mean, the New York Knicks play there and sell it out every game whether they're winning 10 games or you know 60 a season they they sell it they sell it out and it's a you know it's a historical landmark in basketball um, all the greats that have played there and you just you got to win three to get there and uh, we'll take it one game at a time um, like I said a really good Boston College came in here and and I don't you know I, you, you're talking about like loose and fun um, you know we're going to go out there and and I think we're going to approach it just like a, uh, any other game. You know, we'll, we'll prepare for it, watch film, anything, and and we're going to we're going to go out there and compete and try to get to Madison Square. Justin, what was last night kind of like? Still recovering from the martial loss, but also not knowing if you were going to get an, another chance to play some up. You know, I didn't even watch uh, the selection show, or I just kind of waited on someone to send me a text and let me know. Uh, that's that's kind of how I felt about it. You know, I left it kind of in God's hands whether he, you know he wants wants us to play another game. And luckily, it's back in Diddle, and because uh, it was, you know, it, it's kind of tough for me to watch that after you know what happened and thinking you know we deserved to be there. And in, in my mind and heart, I still think we deserved a, a, a bit in that big tournament because, you know, we yeah, we had a couple of bad losses, but we had some pretty quality wins that no one, some people got in that tournament that didn't have uh, with that largest. But like I said, um, I'm, I'm just happy to be playing again, basketball again, and being Diddle is going to be something special. Dwight, um, 
you know, all, anyone that's been around your, your team all season, the, the chemistry has been off the charts great. And because of that, I know that, again, as a competitor, you want to keep playing. But just these teammates and the chemistry you have, what does it mean to get a chance to play at least one more game and hopefully more games as in plural? Uh, I think the thing is great. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't great the last time we. Uh, last time we uh, lost. Uh, the the whole feeling was was, was just by it. Uh, so come have an opportunity to come with you again, and actually playing and did as I said before. Uh, I think the guys are really excited about it, and we're gonna and we're gonna come out there and, and, and compete. It'll be great. They're introducing some new rules here in the NIT. You know, a wider lane, longer three point line. You think those are gonna have any real impact? I, I really don't. I mean, I, I saw the rules. Um, most of the time when you get an offensive rebound, you let it, you, sh you shoot it pretty quick again with that 20, changing the 20-second shot clock. And they've kind of, you know, that hasn't been really an effect for us because, you know, we kind of play pretty fast. And then, you know, they, they put that new rule in the, with uh, when the foul occurs. It only goes back to 20 now. So, you know, we kind of, you kind of get used to that. Wider lane is, you know, it's not, I don't think it's really that big of an issue. Um, three point line. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's not even that. What is it? Fourteen inches or something like that. What is it? A little less than two. Feet. Yeah, a little less than two feet. So it's nothing. It's not nothing crazy. And if, and if you watch basketball, nobody really shoots it right on the line any, anymore anyway. So, I mean, I just think you know it's something to experiment with. And um, I think four quarters is a little different. You know, I don't, I'm not sure how that, that's going to work, but. Um, you know, it's it's basketball at the end of the day. For, for both of you guys, you guys approach it as another ch chance to showcase your individuality in terms of pro basketball. You know, some scouts are probably watching these games. I mean, obviously, I want to play at the next level, but I want to win. I mean, if it's like I said, I've said it before. Whether I score or don't score, I'm just trying to win a basketball game. How about you, Blake? Yeah, that's the that's the main goal. Just keep winning. Can I ask you one more thing? Um, you've obviously, you know, been in, in, in the postseason before, but speaking for the guys who are going to be coming back to this team next season, you know, the underclassmen, what advice are you going to give them or have you given them about taking this postseason experience and, and applying it to, to next season? I mean, as I've been saying to the young guys uh, all year, just just them taking in how to, how to, how to lead they're other teammates because you can have freshmen coming in next year, and they're going to be the upperclassmen, even though they're they still going to be young. And tell them that they got to um, take it how take it how it is. Like how we lost, just just take it in, feel it, and and know what you need to do for next year to make it to this to this level and make it to the NCAA tournament. So uh, that's just about it. Bye.